Hey friends, how y'all doing? It's Kimberly. Today I'm going to be discussing my goals. 2022 and we'll revisit my 2022 and we'll discuss 2023. The heck is that? My number one thing last year was to read for my shelf and I am very proud that I did do that. I think I read like 24 book of the month books so that was a lot just right there in a nutshell uh read more nonfiction. i did get into nonfiction, mostly uh spiritual but nonfiction. stick to book boxes did not do that very well read larger books did not do that very well use audible kindle unlimited and net galley more i did do that I did do that a lot. Kindle uh, Kindle Unlimited has a lot of books you'd be surprised. If you have a backlist of your book of the month books and you'd like to get caught up, Kindle Unlimited has them on there every once in a while. And you have to get them while they're on there. They don't keep the same books on there forever. They'll be on there for a time period and then they replace them with something else. But you can find a lot of backlist books on there. So check it out if you're interested. Better written reviews. I did do that. I do them on Goodreads mostly, but when a book is published, I'll do them on Amazon and Goodread. I mean Amazon and Barnes and Noble as well. And now Book Sirens. I'm part of the Book Sirens. My number seven was expand age. Read to include children's and middle grade. I do have grandchildren, four grandsons, so I am getting more back into children's fiction, picture books and middle grade just to see what those are all about make videos did not there was a lot going on reread more which i did enjoy the read not the number i only started doing that probably around july so the last half of the year i started enjoying the book instead of just knocking that number out on goodreads since i had set it to a hundred i think is what i set it at and i ended up yeah overdoing that now, my reading goals for this year, 2023, is enjoy the read, not the number. So, I had heard from many booktubers that they didn't set a number because you were prone to reading to that number every month. Goodreads would send you a little text or email saying, uh, you know, you're two behind or you're three ahead or whatever. And I did fall into that trap a little bit, but... I'm not doing that this year, so what I did was I set my reading goal to 10, which I've already achieved because I read 11 books last month. And so, enjoy the read, not the number. I'm already doing better on that. For my channel, I'd like to post on YouTube one to two times a week. Bookstagram, two to three times a week. And then, my word of the year is to have faith. I need to have more faith in myself that no matter what I put out there, someone's going to like it. Someone's going to not like it. Whatever. To each his own. It's okay. I'm just going to do what I feel like doing. And if it goes well, it goes well. If it doesn't, okay. Number three was focus on my own physical book books, which I have 66 Kindle books. So I got plenty of books to read without even going to the library. I'm going to focus for new books on book of the month or library or the library only. And my library charges $35 for a card. Can't do that. If you live in Texas, there's a lot of libraries that'll give you free Texas cards. And I've been getting all my books that I need from North Richland Hills. Now, you may have to wait a little longer, but it's no big deal. And I've been reading books on my Kindle from the library, which is awesome to do. I've already skipped this month for book of the month. My book of the month box. I've already skipped January. Five is to enjoy more rereads, which I've already been really good at so far this year. Six, read more classics. Last year I read a lot of Jane Austen and uh, for Jane Austen July, which was a lot of fun. I didn't realize how much I enjoyed Jane Austen, but I'm reading more classics now. And uh, right now I'm in Dracula. I'm on chapter four of Dracula. Another goal is to have. A net galley book and a book sirens book which are arcs advanced reader copies at least one a month 
and my focus is going to be LGBTQ and YA on those. Okay, another focus goal is to read larger books. I'd like to spend more time on larger books. I have Empire of the Vampire, Priory of the Orange Tree, The Attic Child, um, The Stardust Thief. All those are over 400 pages, and I'd really like to get to those really soon. Um, another goal of mine is to help indie and self-publish uh, books to help the indie authors. There are book of the month challenges, which are challenges that I can focus on if I feel like doing challenges. I'd like to share my reading journal. I have a reading journal that I've been keeping since 2020, I think. 2019 or 2020. Try new authors such as Mariana Zapata, Brandon Sanderson, John Gwynn. I had more, but I can't think of them. And for my spiritual side, I've already started reading the Bible in a year with the Bible recap. I like to read the story, which is a book, and it has the Bible in a story form, and it's called The Story. Bible journaling, I'd like to get back into Bible journaling, and I'd like to also focus on Christian fiction. That's something new I just learned about probably within the last week, so I thought I'd add that to my spiritual side. But anyway, if you listened this this long, thank you very much for following me. Like and subscribe if you'd like to, to watch me be goofy as I put myself out there in the world starting this month. But anyway, I'll share more with my about my bullet journals later. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye.